There are three simple points everyone should understand about the science of COVID-19. Let's start off by zooming all the way in. Viral particles are tiny, a thousand times smaller than bacteria. And they're super abundant. You often find 10 million viruses in a single drop of seawater. Luckily, most of them are harmless. Viruses consist of a protein shell, and inside that is the genetic material the virus needs to replicate itself. COVID-19 is an RNA virus, and it also has a fatty envelope around it. That's why washing your hands with soap and water actually disrupts this fatty envelope and destroys the virus. Next, the virus needs a host to reproduce, a cell. Once it comes in contact with the right kind of cell, the virus hijacks it and takes over. Then it makes the cell replicate and make copies of itself, sometimes destroying the original cell in the process. Those new copies go on to repeat the pattern again and again and again. Next, let's zoom out to an individual human scale. Let's imagine I have the virus. When I cough, sneeze or talk, I'm spreading those virus copies out on their quest to find new hosts. The droplets fall down onto surfaces around me and hang about in the air around me. If I cough onto my hands or wipe my nose until I wash the viruses on my hands, ready to spread onto the things I touch. COVID-19 can survive on some surfaces for up to three days. COVID-19 can begin spreading three days before symptoms show or even if you have no symptoms at all. So I could have been walking around spreading the virus and infecting others with no idea. This is why we have to cough and sneeze into our elbow. Wearing a mask is an excellent way to protect others as well as ourselves. So what if you're not infected? Well, you can pick up these droplets. If you've touched a contaminated surface, the virus could be on your hands now. But does that mean you're infected? Well, not yet. The virus has to get into your body. And that happens when your hand touches your eyes, your nostrils, or your mouth. That's why we have to try not to touch our faces unless our hands are clean. But let's zoom out again, because the biggest point here is that it isn't about individual scale. This isn't about me or you, it's about all of us. The virus is a strong reminder that we're in this thing together. Zoomed out further, the pattern of how the virus spreads looks similar to the microscale of how the virus replicates itself. We are all like cells waiting to be infected, but we can change our behaviour individually and collectively. We're this dot, or this dot, or this one, and our individual actions make a huge difference. Our choices affect hundreds or thousands of others. Even without a vaccine, together we can stop the pandemic. We must all wash our hands, watch our distance, and wear a mask. Working collectively, we're powerful.